All right, so we are done with the Friday night kickoff. Pool A pretty much went as planned for who was expected to win. Instinct did very well, although they were taking the game five by final balls, which, come on, let, let's just be honest, no one expected that. And then final boss actually comes in at the last match of the night and beats Classic. I, I gotta hand it to him. I mean, I thought Classic was gonna roll all over Final Yeah, boss. I was expecting a wreck wall. I, I hate saying it. I thought Final Boss was a fluke in that game, taking instant to game number five. But I mean, they proved me wrong. Those guys, they looked really good, especially not practicing. Like, you kidding me? Yeah, I've never on. seen that before. So I mean, hats off to Final Boss. Hopefully, they come in tomorrow with the exact same enthusiasm as they had tonight. That fire. But the best match. It sucks saying it. The best match of the night. They got three would <laughs> But the Revolution status quo match, oh my god. Sniper oh. kill after, like, it was, Crimson had a snipe that I'm pretty sure went through the map. Like, through, like, uh -huh. objects, maybe even Straight. curved around the earth, yeah. like, somehow. I, I had no idea how it worked. Yeah. We're gonna have to go back and watch that, but so. Absurd. I mean, you probably should talk about the triple kill that we've been yeah, okay. clamoring so, about the entire so time. So basically, Team Slayer Pit happens, right? And we're just, it starts off as a stalemate. We're making jokes like, oh, these guys aren't even pushing. This is so boring. Camping stories, like trying to tell jokes. Next thing we know, big play after big play. We're sitting there like, what is this crazy madness going on? And then, you know, it just keeps going. And I'm trying, we're trying to cast, like we're trying our damnedest. We're like, all right, and now they're going to be, moving. holy God, what was that? We can't believe I, this happened. Frankly, I didn't see it. I it did. Was him and he okay, down so that was TS Pit. Really and then Crim6 goes into game number three, King of the Hill on Nexus. King of the Hill on Nexus. He grabs the sniper, he just sees it golden. He's just like, he picks it up, and all members of Status Quo running at him. He's like, get out of here, blames the first dude. Next guy comes at him, he has no shields, brains the other guy. The third guy comes at him, he's like, get out of here, kid, brain. Is that goes to reload, goes to reload, does like a little 360, bam, the next guy. Doesn't get the extermination, but it was so ridiculous. Oh and the whole God. time I'm screaming this on the stage. I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this happened. In mid-sentence of him, just completely cut him off. I was like, no, you will not do this. And no one knows anything I'm talking about. They're just it's, like, what is going on? I, I mean, frankly, yeah, we said it's 3-0 yeah. for the match. I wish it could have gone to game five, but the, the gameplay in that match, by far, so one of some of the best. I mean, we saw Blaze go absolutely nuts last event. Krizix going a little bit more insane, even though somehow his team ended up losing. Yeah. And then uh, the the last match of the or the other match. Well, then we had um, our pull C. Infamous. Infamous. Infamous play turning point. Turning point. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Oh, I mean, I'll totally tell you wrong, what's surprising but... about Turning Point. Everyone always blows Ninja up like he's the Jesus Christ of Halo Reach. <laughs> but quite frankly, he's only good online. At tournaments, he has yet to perform. I'll be honest. No. I'm going to say no, no, no. Let's be honest, no, Chris. No. He has one top six finish. In Ninja's defense, he does go very positive events. But and he calls I hate his to team to lose. In, in my mind, he's the definition of a noob killer. <clears throat> when he plays bad people, he's going to absolutely wreck them. But as soon as he starts playing good people, I think his strategies are kind of based around playing these kids online and kind of just destroying them. I think sometimes in those main games, he gets a little bit flustered. He's, he's playing against some of the greatest players in the world. He's not necessarily, they practice against some of these teams, but on land, it's a whole different ball game. But the thing about Ninja is, I hate to say, I wouldn't want him to pick up the sniper, not because he's not good with it, but I think he's better as a player when he doesn't pick it up. Because I would rather have his DMR out on the map than his sniper. And I agree. And the most surprising thing about this series was Walshy was laying down the law. He was just braining. He looked like in 2005. I know most of you guys don't know what happened in 2005. That was the first Halo where Walshy was on Team Dom, which was just unbeatable. And he actually had a couple games where he was better than everyone else. So he was in that fashion, and he still fell short. Walshy and Sniper usually not said in no. the same sentence for the last few years, but it looks like he got it back. Sorry guys for ranting a little bit. We just wanted to give our, our <laughs> honest thoughts throughout the night. And you got to watch Gandhi do a little bit of picking up snipers and 360ing. So hey, so, no guys. one got to see it, so you know I had to put on a demonstration, you know? <laughs> but we'll be casting. We did seven straight hours today. We're looking at almost 12 straight hours tomorrow, maybe even longer. But make yeah, sure you 12. guys join back up. It'll be 10 o'clock when we're going live with some of these matches with the amateur teams. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys tomorrow.